Okay, welcome back. This is part four of my complete file upload site uh, tutorial series. And in the last video, we uh, made our site look a lot nicer. We added a lot more style to it. And uh, yeah, so what we're going to do now is we're going to create our navigation bar and the links inside of it. Now, first thing we're going to do is we are going to create just some blank links that don't go anywhere. So the first one is just going to be home, <coughs> and oops, I typed that in the wrong spot. So the link itself is just going to be a pound symbol, so it's not going to take us anywhere, but the text is going to be home. So if we save and refresh, you see now we have a blue link inside of here, and it's just this horrible blue color, and it's definitely not what we want, plus it's, there's nothing fancy about it. So we're going to add a couple more links and we'll say browse because eventually we will add some browse uh, capabilities and uh, I don't know we'll just leave that as home for now I guess so if we save and refresh you see now we have these links and the reason they're all scrunched together like this is there's no space in between them um, you must have your links like this or else this method I'm going to show you uh, for this complete CSS um, <coughs> this complete CSS um, navigation is not going to work so just fix that um, so your links must be all completely up against each other they must be completely touching so we're going to go to our CSS page and we're going to scroll up to our navigation now what we're going to do is we're going to copy this and right below here we're going to paste it now after our nav we're just going to put an A now what this is going to do is this is going to style every single uh, anchor tag that's what the A stands for, it's anchor tag it's going to style every single anchor tag which is for the most part it's only links but uh, there might be some other kinds of anchor tag so this is going to style every single anchor tag inside of our of our navigation div so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set the color to white so if we refresh you see it changes our color to white so also we're going to add uh, text decoration Whoops. and we're going to set it to none and what that's going to do is it's going to get rid of our underline so now what we're going to do is we're going to add padding on the left side of about for now we'll just go with 8 pixels and we might end up changing that later we're also going to add padding on the right side for 8 pixels so we save and refresh you see now our links are spaced out bam right there they're spaced out they look a lot nicer already so uh, the f next thing we're going to do is we are going to well that's good for now I guess um, so I'm just going to copy the entire style right there. Well, just the what right there. Um, and after our A, after our anchor, we're going to type in a colon, not a semicolon, a colon, and then hover. So what this is going to do is it's going to style every time you hover over a link. You see that, how the mouse changes? That's the hover effect. Now, you can also change what it looks like when you hover over it. So the first thing we're going to do is... Um, just to show you real, real quick, we're just going to add a color of green, and we refresh. You see when we hover, it changes the link color every time you hover over it. So that's the hover effect. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to change the background color. And we're going to give it a color of, uh, what it is now is it's 666. Um, yeah, SOB. Um, just for now, we're going to change it to this lighter gray. So if we save and refresh, you can see we now have this lighter gray color, but it's only covering just the text and the 8 pixel um, padding on the left and the right side. Now, we don't want that. We want it to cover completely on the top. So on our hover, we have to add some extra padding. So we're going to add padding on the top of about 5 pixels, and we'll see what that looks like. So when you hover, you see it extended all the way up. So about another two pixels should be good. And 
and there we go. See how it touches completely to the top here when you hover over it. Now what we're going to do is we want to add some padding on the bottom. Now this should be, we should need less than seven. Oh, a little bit more. Uh, it's about nine. That should be good. Right here, see, we have it very nicely right there. Um, so this is a complete CSS hover effect. Now you can add a background image to make it look, to give it some depth or something. Uh, but in this series, I'm probably, I uh, likely won't do that. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some extra padding on the left and right side. So padding on the left, we'll say 10 and 10. So it spaces about a little bit more. So right there. So every time you change your text images, it'll automatically change it. You know, it's it's very nice. Now, if you don't have this rounded edge effect, you can uh, put a background image uh, for the normal uh, um, the normal link. Um, but since we have the rounded edges, the background image on your standard link it doesn't really work out. Um, it just doesn't. I don't know why. I guess just how the uh, how the rounded corners are, are uh, coded. It just doesn't really work out too well. So you can try it to see if you like it, but I'm not going to, uh, because I have before. Okay, so we have this now, and just to show you that, um, we'll change this home to random. It can be anything, really. And it'll automatically change the text, and we still have our hover effect right there. Yay! Now, also, to show you that if you put in a space in between your link, it'll mess it up. See? There's just that extra space in between there. Um, it, you can include it. Um, let's say you want to put like a, like a small border on your side. Um, it kind of messes it up a little bit. Um, so, yeah. I mean, you can put it in there. It spaces out a little bit more. But, uh, yeah. So I'm not going to put it. So, there we go. Now everything aligns perfectly. Um, Alright, so, let me check the time. That's seven minutes. Um, hmm. I guess that's good for now. Um, so, above our wrapper, what I have decided we're going to do, what I'm going to do at least, is I'm going to put in another uh, div ID, and this is going to be header. And we're just going to end it. Now our header is going to contain like a logo image or something uh, to make the site look a little bit nicer. So pound header. <clears throat> so right there. Um, our header, we're going to set the exact same parameters right here. The exact same thing we have for our wrapper. So it's pretty much going to be the exact same code as our wrapper because all it's going to be is a little... Um, um, yeah, ooh, we don't want height, um, so get rid of the height on this as well, there we go, so it looks like there's nothing there, and that's because technically there isn't anything there, because we have nothing inside of it, but it's there, and, uh, by the time I start the next video, um, I will have an image in there, um, so I guess I'll stop this video here, um, in the next video, we mm, should continue on with the design, but we might uh, get started on another topic. So, check out the next video uh, when it's uploaded, because it might be a little while. So, thanks for watching.